All right there, BVPN and guests there. We do owe you one there, family emergency yesterday there. So we had to, you know, prolong things a little bit here. So don't worry, you're already getting a treat. You're getting a double header today. So we're going to wrap things up there with the blood bell that indeed is so bizarre, it must indeed be bloody awful. And then after that there, we will take you to everyone's favorite division in the BVPN. All right. That ought to get a laugh. Okay, let's get out of the stadium here. Let's get this last one on the road here. Constable Ed, what have you brought for me today here? Better not be fucking disease. No, it's not disease there, but it does seem to be a week of old BBPN week here in bloody awful. Because look who it is, lads. It's another one of the most famous coaches that ever blundered his way out of the BBPN and into another league. And they still don't know what to think of him there. And of course, facing him there is the Gallant Wood Elves. So, let's quickly little review and take a little peek here what we've got in in store for you today here. Well, I absolutely guarantee it's going to be malarkey. Of course it is going to be. Well, go and get something out of your stubby holders here, chaps, because, yeah, it's going to be dingoes and gringos all at ten paces here. What else? Of course, you can see here, it's an interestingly developed team. Does have a loner, but he has some pretty interesting development. The strength for ward answer with the movement increase expect to be utterly fucking dynamite mind you that also means he's the biggest target on the field the tree has grabbed god and above all block here so he doesn't he's not afraid of a two die block there all right here we go solid kick everyone's gonna get a reroll celebrate yeah everyone definitely celebrate there yeah absolutely we're looking forward to see where caster and his insanity here yeah well don't worry he's coming back he has no cho choice, or we're going to, you know, the, the first Qualla gets it. Because, you know, we said, which one are we going to shave? Weircaster or the Qualla? He's going decisions, decisions. Well, the Wood Elves here, as you can see, starting their offense here. Human squad, as you can see. It's got a bit of development there, but there's the big thing. They've come in with a wizard. They've got the fame. Someone's cheering for him there. Australia. And, of course, four rerolls. What else? Five rerolls. Insight, lad. You don't need them. Speaking of don't need them, you really don't need that person in the front line, do you? Absolutely stunned, don't worry. He'll shake that one off there. But now, in all candor here, take a look at this Wood Elf team. What the hell do you need five rerolls for? It's a very serious question at this point. What the fuck do you need five rerolls for? You're a Wood Elf coach. All right, there we go. Cheese pleasure. Easy catch. You got it. <laughs> Hey, see, this is not difficult here. Who do you do? Oh, there's the fireball. Well, look, we're all standing. And there we go. It's over 9,000. Yeah, it's over 9,000. All right. Yeah, there's the first KO right there. And yep, it's time to change out a beer here. Go get yourself a little fresh brewski there. Yeah, definitely a stubby for the soul of the So not bad of a fireball. Considering it's a 50% chance that he gets himself two KOs and knocked down and everything else is still standing there. That's fair dinkum, absolutely. And yeah, it's the smartest play we've seen from Weircaster all year. Mind you, it's the first play we've seen from Weircaster all year there, so don't blame him. Makes the dodge play here. And he's going to try and keep this person lapped up. Now, here's the big debate. Does he go for the ball immediately? Well, yes, he does. Nerves of steel. There's the throw. He made it. Woohoo! This is Sparta! Yeah, we'll allow that. Then he tries the hand off. The almost merely fouls it up there. Yeah, does the hard part. And then almost fouls up the easy part. Oh, we're cast it. We've missed you. All right. Ogre moves into position here. Bit of Bill Baxley coverage here. Yeah, well, he's a bit paranoid. 
Five re-rolls, I would be too. So the wizard, gone already. But I tell you, what a way to get back in the game. All right. Got wood. Oh, he's got something all right. Yeah, push me, push you here. And as you can see here, yeah, already and immediately here, the Wood Elves have now diabolical problems here. Now, this lad may be stuck out to die. That's probably true, but they got to knock him down first. And of course, easy. Uh, I, I wouldn't even say easier said done. Just, well, that was easy. Stab, stab, stab. Yeah, easily knocks him down there. Oh, well, so much for that idea. And then meanwhile, yeah, this is the biggest problem. The tree takes root. That basically takes him out of the play here. And the humans can now avoid him. He's now your pivot point if you're the Wood Elves. But do remember the Wood Elves already down two players. And here it comes. Time to dance on your head there. I know, everyone was hoping for a tree interception. Problem is the squirrels were a bit deranged and deluded there. Uh, he, he's brought acorns for them there, so they absolutely love this lad. Well, we always did say where caster is more than a bit not cashew even. And here comes the human squad here. Human squad, as they said, master of none, but they are indeed one of the most flexible. And as everyone notes, BB2020 here. Yeah! He, he, but he, he, he didn't hit the throw, he took root, and then he decided not to throw the block. He's got grab! He, he could have easily thrown it, but no, he absolutely gets so pissed off because he can see what he was trying to do. He wanted the tree to move it and do something, and of course he totally fucked it up. And you've got five rerolls. Why did you not reroll it? Oh well, bye bye! Um, nom, 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 nom. It's like, that's Australian coaching in a nutshell, absolutely. Take a drink and move on. I tell you, the Wood Elves have completely misplayed this, and the display is continuing. Two red dice, absolute heroism. Nothing less ever expected from this brilliant coach there. Rumor is, he's also handsome, but, you know, I'd have to ask my sister about that one. All right, Wood Elves, counterattack here. Push me, push you. Now with the tree, please throw a block. Remember, he's got grab. See? So he's not getting away anytime soon. However, that's the wrong square to be. He needs to be over here. Why is that meta gold? Because, let's face it, he can get away. If he goes here, he's going to help the charge because you're really out of players. Fun reminder, the fireball did take out two, including the loner. Not that anyone really cares. Well, the wall dancer here, hyper conservative. He's waiting and waiting and waiting for an opportunity to go cage diving. This is where casting. You're never going to get a chance to cage dive because no one cage dives worse. Yeah, definitely worse than Wearcaster. He's taught many a person how to yeah, do exactly that double skull. Double ones, master of them he is. However, we'll see how he does this game there. And the rerolls keep going like whiskey. And disease. There we go, moving down the field there, he's got everything here, and he's moving like an Australian wildfire, slowly making his way across the grasslands and hopefully right into the end zone. Or Melbourne, pick one. Uh, there we go, moving along here, the rest of the damn lads, moving along. See, this is total paranoia, and you can see where he's keeping the guards here, and the reason why he's doing this is he's only got the two guards. So this is why he's keeping it really stacked up here, because remember, strength four... He's got absolutely no trust in this whatsoever. Made the dodge away tree utterly useless now. You might as well consider yourself down three players. Wood Elves down to eight. Basically at this point here. Push me, push you. Smart play by the Wood Elves. Do shove another one back in there. And then the tree. Well, does his job. Nicely done. What do you mean back tomorrow? We're going back today. To get, you're getting an extra game today. Free of charge. So yeah, indeed. Meanwhile, push me, push you. And the wall dancer, oh, almost double ones, fails that, but then goes run away. Here. Yeah, I, I was mentioning that. What the fuck? He's got five rerolls. And he had a chance in a reroll on the take route, and he decided not to use the reroll. Why would you reroll that? You've got fucking five. I'm serious. Don't call me Shirley. You just call me in the morning. Especially if you got the money. And the, uh, the uh, gold watch. Yep, yeah, exactly. Here we go. Wrestle takes down the star here. And the Walt human team. Well, they're no hurry. This is a recovered drive here. And meanwhile, Bob's your uncle. And your son. And your trombone. And about everything else there. 
Yeah, well, that about basically sums it up there, doesn't it? All right, human team, complete readjustment here. You see, this is what they're really worried about here. And let's face it here, this ward answer, this lad here, strength four, movement increase, he's the one someone even like Wearcaster is even worried about. So he's trying to protect his balls. Mind you, he's been doing that every time last time he went to the BBPN brothel there. I don't think he's forgiven us for what happened to him when he forgot his wallet. Or so he says. <laughs> I don't know. I really doubt that story. But you know what? That's his version. That's his jape. And he's sticking to it. And you know, over here. Push me. Push you. Smart. This is so far the one smart play the Wood Elves have really done in this drive here. They've kept the catcher out here. Elder receiver. That's his job. But they're going to show some Unisei Quad and actually go and get a fucking ball. And they haven't done that yet. There we go. Solid hit. Solid takedown. Gets the slam. And then goes back waiting here. And there's nothing wrong with this here. Because, like I said, because the tree's rooted, he's basically at this point down three players. Wood Elves keeping a very light floating screen here. They do need this player back. News button, son. You're not getting him. Meanwhile, yeah, catcher, he's got no fucking choice. So much... That calico is never showing up here. You can hang out as long as you want over there near the glory hole, but that dangling balls of glory is not coming above your forehead. Unless it's Nuffle. Then Nuffle's a cunt. All right, human team plowing through here. Well, you can see what he's trying to do here. Just take a look at the skills of this little Bill Baxter. Yeah, he's basically a jock here. He really is there. He's got strength four. He's got the blood. He's got the god. He's got the money glow. He's got the venereal disease. He's got everything you need in an Australian footy player. All right, moves over there. He's keeping it. Got it. As you can see, he's slightly changed over. He's got it. The, you know, slightly bunged knee here. Yeah, absolutely. It's a banged knee. Most necklaces usually are. Funny that. How can you tell? It's the arrow. You, if you zoom in close, you can see it's still sticking out there slightly. Oh, no. Jeez. Yeah, well, I don't care what you do with your plants there. He's not getting it up any time today, Merigold. Well, this is it, lad. This is your chance here. No, I'm serious. Yeah, and he sees it. The Wood Elf coach absolutely sees. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Wrong one. See if he gone in, he gets the ball carry. Instead, he goes after this lad. How well did that actually work for you? Overtime. It didn't, did it? No, absolutely not. So he had his moment, go in, take out the ball carry. Instead, he goes after this one, does chain push. Okay. Waste of fucking time, that is. Oh, yeah. Well, there's KO for your efforts there, because you didn't even try. Look, you little pixel hugger. Go get the ball. That's what a wood elf coach is supposed to do. Look, if you start hugging the pixels of these wood elves here, you'll never get anywhere. Ask a Norian. No, really, ask him. Speaking of asking him here, how to hand your ball across? Well, Wearcaster once again has proven the other futility he has in doing a basic play. About bizarre, over-the-top, crazy, insane plays? Absolutely, he can do those in his sleep, and he does them while he's awake as well. But basic plays, forget it. Always has to re-roll them. Ah, I've missed him. <laughs> oh, dear. It's time for another foul. Is he dead yet? Yes! Da, da, da. He, oh, boo, boo, boo. What you going to ruin everyone's fun with an apothecary for? Oh, well, go and change your beer out. He's lost an armor piece. <laughs> Unfortunately, Ed, firm but fair, has to call that one. I don't blame him. It was rather blatant there. You know. <laughs> when you break out Lucille to commit a foul, you kind of wonder if it's helping him up or not. All right, well, Wood Elves, congratulations. Yeah, and there we go. <laughs> Bob and Weave, you fool. Yeah, like I said, they had their opportunity literally a turn ago, completely passed on it. This is the result. They're now out of play with a permanent damage. Now they're having to do desperation. And now he makes the leap. There's the two dice. Push me. Fuck you. Yeah, he lost his charts two turns ago. And yeah, it's time to die, Sunshine. It's time to die. What else? Back on the menu, boys. No, that didn't work, did it? <laughs> All right. Well, it's 
settle down, lads, settle down. There's still plenty of time to kill this con. All right, here we go. Human squad. They're going to do this nice and careful like because they want this person dead. And that's a bonus. Of course it is. Beautiful. Hell yeah. yeah hell yeah indeed there. Well, that's another wood elf off the pitch, off the reservation. And uh, yeah, we'll definitely allow that any day of the week there. That's nice to see. Absolutely beautiful. Now, the fun part. Ow, oh, he hit him. Well, that was a mistake. Maybe not. Holy dooly. Do you foul? Of course you foul. What kind of question is that? Ask the broadcast booth. Of course you foul. Meanwhile, Paul Carrier. Yep, goes the blitz. Wait, where's the ball? Who's got the ball? He's got the ball. No, I've seen that in a Dwarf Orc game. They played turn upon turn, and then they realized, where's the ball? Who needs it? Nah, yeah, really. Who really fucking needs it there? Especially when you're talking Dwarves and other races there. All right, here we go. Three dice. Tries to kill the catcher. You know, you didn't need this many, Wearcaster. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. You don't get five dice. Three's your lot. Yeah, of course it changes his mind. Time to foul. Hello. Bang, 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 bang. Bang, 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 bang. Oh, come on. He's already stunned there. Can't stun him anymore. All right, now the Wood Elves. What are they going to do here? They can't go. Oh, didn't really think that one through, did you? Work, work. Do you like to try that again? Yes, he does. Oh, <laughs> oh stop it. Stop it. Stop. No, no, never stop it there. What the hell are you thinking there? Oh, my God. Yeah, he's broke his freaking neck. Ah, you can put that back on, can't you there? Ah, like I said... Wood Elves, you had your window way back here at this turn, and you passed it. You completely flummoxed it. This is the result of it here. Big punch, big takedown right there. Damn it, still alive. Get over here. Yeah, get over here, dude. Turn eight. Now, really, this is a debate here. Do you take the chance to foul or score? Decisions, decisions. Yeah, I know, I know. Here we go. Mean what? Big hit. Big push here. Gets a knockdown at least there. And yeah, it's time for the glory of scoring. Nicely done, lads. Let's march that one in. Alright, lads. Welcome to halftime. Halftime score 1-0 for the humans. This halftime, of course, being brought to you here by Reebok. Only the best shoes, the best cleats, and the best spikes for fouling. Reebok. Uh, that was a nice drive there. Remember, that was all defense. All defense. That complete 100%, absolutely unmitigated talent or drinking which one is it uh, you decide absolutely <laughs> all right well let's take a look at what's left on the field here yep you can see that right or what else wait what are you doing back here come back here you cowards what the fuck are you doing back here oh we're hurt stop hogging your pixels lad you're a wood elf what should be he gets a blitz, the ball's perfect, and these cunts are all the way back here. Place your bets, everyone. <laughs> called it! Surprise, motherfucker. Absolutely fucking called it! No, I haven't seen this game. I just know. This is how you don't play Wood Elves. <sighs> well, that's why you get to watch the broadcast, lads, because it's called an education. Every bloody day, every game. It really is. All right, here we go. Solid fisting, solid night down right here. Uh, yep, yeah, Wearcaster, aren't you glad he's a coward? All right, push me, push you. Uh, all right, over the top, lads. Here we go. Two dice, push me, push you here. Yeah. yeah, who knew these guys played for West Ham United? Absolutely there. Or as you would say there, West Sydney. <laughs> See, Warecaster knows what I mean by that reference. All right, here we go. Easy peasy, 11 squeezy there. Picks up the ball there. 
Have we squeezed? We have we squeezed? Oh, yes, of course. Hey, he's completed a basic play. Oh, my God. Who the hell cares? Oh, stop being nag. All right, yeah. And there we go. Moving along here. See, we're that's a complete... That should have been a complete screw drop, especially with Mr. Movement 9. The Wood Elves should have recovered that ball and be tying this game right now 1-1. But instead... And now look what he's doing. Now he's showing aggression. Yeah, now he's showing aggression. And how well did that work? Thanks for standing still, wanker. Yeah, absolutely. Down he goes. Goodbye, darling. Hope you don't forget the fucking right there. Yeah, absolutely. We'll allow that one there. Yeah, it's the same. Yeah, it's the loner. Oh, God. You know, we're starting to wonder about this Wood Elf coach. We really are. And I've seen this one play before. I've seen him play bloody brilliant before. So what the fuck's this? No, yeah, really. What the hell is that? Does Weirdcaster actually intimidate coaches and bloody awful? Is that why he's over here? Might explain much. Hasta la vista, baby. Well, face it, the BBPN's used to his nonsense there. He fits right in. He's an average coach in our, in our league. He really is. He's dynamite over here, but he's an average coach in the BBPN. Face facts there. Well, I'm not saying we're any better. <laughs> I'm just saying we're absolutely mad over there, so... Yeah, he fits in perfectly. He's bloody normal. <laughs> All right, anyway, enough, enough about talking about a superior league, so to speak. Which one? You figure it out. No, really, you figure it out, because I have no fucking idea. Cheers. I'm just drinking. Yeah, drinking and casting. That's how you do it here. Mm. Ah, yeah, it's the Dark Elf today. Yeah, foul and Elf. Don't mind if we do. Round one. Fight. Oh, hey, Shmoo! Who is you? Don't mind if I do, absolutely. And now the pixel hugger is gonna hide. Uh, of course he is. Alright, 10, 11. Yes, the pain is going to love it. Ah, yeah, we're back to the usual. <laughs> Get over here! Do you like to try it again? Yeah, there we go. We're cast it once again. Average plays. And again, fumbles his balls. Uh... I took a you must do something, lad. And again, since the Wood Elves are pixel huggers, here it is, again, wrapped up like a hub of cheese and shoved one right up this coach's ass here. And now when he needs to do the play, he can't do it. Because all the other players, he can do this play easy. Guess what? Well, here he is. He's got the ball. Now we're going to go for cheese. Completion. Oh. It needs to be about 20% cooler. What's wrong with you? You really must be for me, Sydney. You know? Absolutely. Yeah. That's what you fucking deserve. Dead bodies everywhere! Dead bodies everywhere! Dead bodies everywhere! Dead bodies everywhere! Yeah, I, I'll never get tired of watching that one. Bang! That is exactly what that elf deserved for that one there. See? Pick one. Be aggressive or be anything else here. Yeah, you, you, you clearly, clearly sigh. Uh, all right, well, we're Casa. He gets another stop there. Yeah, I know. Someone clearly greased it with something there. And it's basically, it, 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 it's it's quite a crotch rot is what he's greased it with. I ask we're Casa Hikari. They know exactly what I'm saying on that one there. Ugh. Yeah, Quala Crotch Rot, absolutely the best. <laughs> All right, well, this is completely vulnerable. Here we go, easy play again. Hey, he got it this time. Woo! It needs to be about 20% cooler. Everyone's a fucking critic. All right, so, elves decide, nope, that's it. They're quitting at this point. Of course they're quitting. And yet they keep the elves receiver down the field hiding. And basically now the human squad's going to work their way down the field here. I just do their business. It's business. I know. It is an ooh. Absolutely, yeah. Well, you can see here, Warecaster, as usual, does not trust this. They're just going to click out the turns and then just get this one scored here. Let's get it over here. This gets it over here. And there we are. There's the score. 2 0. Jolly swag man can fly a billabong under the shade of
Billy Tom, you come a walk, sing Matilda with me. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you definitely came waltzing there. It's too nearly, you'll take it. At this point, you'll take it. Because let's face it, the Wood Elves, if they had played the game solid, aggressive in the way they should, well, now they're going to give a blitz the other way there. Because fair is absolutely fair. I will hunt you down wherever you're hiding, and I will eliminate you. I am, I am justice. Now, that's it. You can tell he's totally flipped the table at that point. He's totally that pixel-hugging tree yigger has gone in, flipped the table. And there we go. Solid win for the lads of Thunder, the lads of Down Under. Two to nil. Well deserved, considering how poorly the Wood Elves actually play. You had it! If you hadn't been a pixel hugger, absolutely. If you'd set up correctly there, and you easily could have there, there's the Blitz, as I literally just called it. No, I hadn't seen the game. I just called it. And the Wood Elves tie the game 1-1. And then there's a good fighting chance. If you just show a little bit of chutzpah, you can win this game. But hey, your choice. Well, it's what happens there when you face the Thunderer. All right. It's time to finish this beer off. Chug a second one there. Gods, I needed to wash the taste of this one out. And we're going to your favorite division of the BBPN, Hooligan Division. Stay tuned, lads. We'll be back in five minutes. Nuffle, bless your dice.